I believe in the killer. I've been dating this guy for about a month now, uh -huh. and he recently confessed his love to me. He... Uh-uh, I smell a killer. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep with a bat in my night table drawer, and it's really a good bat. Take a look. Is this really it? Do you love it? Um, yeah, I would love it. <laughs> no, no. No, I kid you not. But I got it Wendy-fied. Okay, yeah. See, with the spikes and the bedazzlement. Uh-huh. And if the killer comes in the house, he's getting a good one. Okay. Okay? <gasps> oh, sure. Don't you keep a bat from Yankee Stadium in your night table drawer? They're so convenient. All, all you have to do, clunk one time with the killer. You don't have to kill him, but you just have to be able to get away. <laughs> no, are you talking about my first life? I'm going to have to get this. No, go ahead. I have to answer the phone. Think about it. We're really on the TV. Hello? I love this. This is such real life. Look, the killer's calling her. You know, Halloween's not my favorite thing, because uh, I always feel as though that's a free pass for the killer. <laughs> now, ooh. <laughs> Sir, your costume. Um, yes, you. <laughs> this is why I don't like Halloween. Imagine this showing up to your house 8 o'clock at night, ringing the doorbell. Ding dong. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Stick them up. See? I don't, I, I don't like Halloween. I think it's for ghouls and goblins and for the killer in disguise to choke you out at your front door. Now, I, I hear that you don't, you think people are always going to come and get you. No, the killer. Okay, the killer oh, is I, always I love bells on the door. On the door. So this... Um, now, I understand you don't like killers? No, I'm scared of the killer. Okay. Well, this is the solution for okay. that. Okay, rang the doorbell. Now what it's doing is audio, video, capturing a photo of who's actually at your front door. I love it! Now, we installed this at your house earlier, and I want to take a look at who stopped by your house because you're here at the show. <laughs> Who do you think it was? I don't know. There it is, right there. Oh, Shut up! Up. Perfect. So, I think you don't want to let him in, right? Didn't he just get out of jail? No, I'll let him in and, you're talk, gonna let him in? and, and talk to him. Okay, that's <laughs> great. If you're at the mall, before you get in that car, check the back seat right, right away. The minute you and get look underneath in, your car. under the car, I've had guys that roll in under the door after you go into your garage, they get in your blind spot, oh, but lock that car door as soon as you get and in that car door. And the other thing is, is that you have, um, tell us about the boots at the front door, Single which is women. brilliant. Apartments, put men's boots outside. Oh. On your phone machine or on your answering machine. Make yep, sure there's a man's boots. voice. Have a man's voice. Buy one of those security little things that say you have a security system, even if, even you, if don't. you don't. And I don't care if you've got a pocket poodle or whatever, a dog is a really, really good thing. Don't Absolutely. let the killer get you. Be safe. Sugar's to the point where instead of him, him being the one, you know, threatening and stuff, it's being alleged that people want his head. That, like, not just the law, but people. So, I guess the last place you want to be is in prison, where you can get it. When he went back to his cell, he suffered what they're calling a panic attack. And he was rushed to the hospital. So the hospital's probably a pretty safe place to be, unless the nurses are working in, in consignment with, um, <laughs> with, with, the, with the killers, you know? Tick, 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 you know what they do with the needle. Put a little something in your IV and let that slip and rock you to sleep. I gave birth at 9.40 on a Saturday night. So by the time they take him into the circumcision room, it might have been like 11 o'clock and it's dark. And so, you know, then you have the night nurses. Now, shout out to the nursing station. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the night nurses. But hospitals have a different vibe at night. <laughs> Dim lights, watching feet pass under the door. Like, oh! I kept thinking was one of these nurses is disguised, you know, is really the killer <laughs> and is going to come in. No, I was. And I was like, she's going to come in and steal my little Lord Fauntleroy. <laughs> if I could have left 10 hours afterwards, I definitely would have. Because to me, the killer lurks. <laughs> yeah. And also, you know, I just think like when you're in the bathtub, you are so vulnerable. <laughs> You can't hear what's going on in the rest of your house or your apartment. And what if somebody comes in and pushes the microphone in to try to do you in? You know? Even when I take a shower, I take Jennifer Aniston showers. 
And I'll tell you why I call them that. Many, many, many years ago, I read an article about Jennifer Aniston, and it said that she takes like two and a half at the most three minute showers. The reason that I do that also is because you're so vulnerable. <laughs> like, oh my, what if, what if somebody jumps in the window? <laughs> what if somebody comes through the front door? Yeah, so when I get in the shower, I get busy immediately. I don't even wash my... I wash my face at the sink, but even after I wash my face, I wash it, and then I look around. <laughs> Alanis had $2 million, approximately, worth of jewelry stolen from her home. They didn't just go in and steal the jewelry. They took the entire safe. Now, obviously, she doesn't have one of those safes that will shock the out of you if you pick it up. Okay. They, no, they sell those safes. You know, you pick them up and that, you're dead. You're dead. You know what's better than a, a safe that shocks you? <laughs> a front doorknob. <laughs> Listen, I've been aware of the killer since birth. So this is nothing new. Shout out to everybody who's known me from radio and everything. You know, I, I talked about the killer. First of all, the lawn service alone is going to be a fortune. Cleaning it, the killer can hide anywhere. <laughs> I remember as a single woman, you know, thinking, and at one point I lived in a studio apartment. It was just perfect, because I could sleep and watch the door. I watched the windows, and there's no place for the killer to hide. <laughs> And it's nice to have somebody staying at your house because when people stay in your house, when you're gone for long periods of time, you can change the light pattern. Like tonight, I'll sleep with the dining room light and the living room light on, you know, and maybe the entrance to the house. Tomorrow, you know, I'll turn those off and just put the back door light on and maybe the garage light. You know, so the killer is not coming in to kill and rob. And don't use your alarm while your friends are standing there. When you use your alarm, don't you go like this even when you're by yourself? Even when you're by yourself, don't you go like this with your alarm? Just in case somebody has a telescope, they're in the woods and they're looking. Oh, sure. People are lurking, they're just waiting to get you. <laughs> I don't mean to scare you, but they are. What do you make of that? Like, if you're at the mall, and it's I'm not Miley Cyrus, but like some random girl dressed like that, what do you think that she might... Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Time to grab your car keys and run. Miley Cyrus, will you go to prom with me? I promise you it'll be the best night of your life. And if you aren't the slow dancing type, no worries. I go to public school and grinding is allowed. <laughs> you probably want her to say yes because he seems like a sweet kid, but he could also be the killer. These days, in 2014, the killer comes in all kinds of packages. Maybe I just watch too many Lifetime movies and maybe too many killings going on on the ID channel. But trust no one. So Miley did say no, thank God. He wanted me to give him my number, and I wouldn't. Right. And so could he gave be the killer. me his business card. Right, you never know. Right. You never know these days. It turns out that he's the one doing more talking about getting married than she is. No. TMZ used the word obsessed. He's obsessed with her. Now you know what that can lead to. <laughs> First of all, I would never marry a guy who got a tattoo this damn big of me. Like, like I don't, I don't. I don't. <laughs> this is just me, you know, personally speaking. Like that's a, a obsessed. Like she's marrying the killer. <laughs> Kim was going to the furniture store upstairs. In the, so, you know, it, upstairs. So Kim's in the stairwell. I know what you're saying. Well, what was she doing in the stairwell? Because that's where the killer is. That's where you get hurt. You, <laughs> you watch Lifetime. But look at her and Harry Styles. His pants are tighter than hers. <laughs> and the way his hair is curling ever so gently out of that hat. That boy is not protecting her from 20 paparazzis or the killer. I've never pumped gas. Why? Because, first of all, I'm clumsy. Okay. If I fall on the hose, the whole place is catch on fire. <laughs> okay. In Jersey, they pump the gas for you. Okay. But I lived in D.C. in the late 80s where y you pumped your own gas. Uh -huh. And what I used to do was get to the gas station and plot 
on somebody who looks nice, like not like the killer. Uh huh. And then sashay over to that person and say, "Can you pump my gas?" Oh wow! And it every worked? time it worked. I've never pumped gas wow. in my life. I and bet even if you asked a killer, they would help you. <laughs> and then it felt like they'd kill you there. It's very well lit. Very close friend of mine um, who's dating a guy that's just not a good person, and they're talking marriage, getting serious. They need to break up. How do I? convince her to break up with him. You can't just say he's not a good person. You've got to run it down. Mm -hmm. Has he murdered somebody? No. <laughs> I met a guy a couple weeks ago in the supermarket. Excuse me, a couple months ago. Okay. Um, he buys me a lot of gifts. The third or fourth day, I, he bought me a laptop. What man is buying a woman that he's not smushing a laptop? I don't let him know where I live. He, you don't let him know where you live? Because you have killer instincts. You know, <laughs> you know this is the killer. I'm gonna tell you something about accepting gifts from guys. <laughs> Today they're giving you gifts, tomorrow they're trying to stab you. <laughs> yes! I met this guy on a dating site. After our second date, we became exclusive. He wanted to shut it down, so we did. Six weeks later, we ha he has given me a key to his place, bank account information, as well as passwords to his email. So I want to know if you think he's moving too fast or is he a man who knows what he wants? He's the killer. <laughs> Where are you from? Virginia. Well, people are nice in Virginia. Yes, so yes. So maybe this is just yes. southern hospitality. Yes, it is. Or the Absolutely. killer. So I met a guy two weeks ago while I'm in the city, and I like him. Um, he told me on our first date that he wants to marry me, and that, <laughs> and that, and that he wants to have kids with me. Um, he's the killer. <laughs> husband has a daughter with his ex and they want me to take a nine hour road trip to Colorado to sign her up for college. I think you should buy a plane ticket and meet them there. Exactly. Okay. I'm gonna drive my car. That's no. what I said, but I know what you mean. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. Don't drive for nine hours. A woman in a car for nine hours driving across the country is not safe. The killer is everywhere. Okay. I've been seeing this guy for two months, nothing serious. And recently he booked the trip to Miami. And I'm like, well, hold on, we're just friends. Now, it's a red flag, should I cut him off? Where he's gonna kill you and stuff you in the trunk of the rental car. <laughs> Have you had sex with him? No. What? <laughs> Nothing, I'm just, that's why I'm like, it caught me off guard. Wait, and, and not that you should be having sex with him, but I'm just saying all these things, no. And, and when is your birthday? June. You don't even know, June is months away. You don't even know if you'll be together. He that's sounds like yeah. he's got a tick. Yeah. <laughs> Change your number, lock I the doors. Work with him. You work with him? You're not going to date him. He's not your boyfriend. You're right. not going to go to the movies with him. It's done. And, you, and what you have to do is be a woman about this right. in the workplace, OK? Because he sounds like he's got something wrong with him. Uh -huh. right. He sounds like he's the killer. Yeah. <laughs> Met this guy. Hurry up. Nice guy. Uh -oh. And within two days of meeting him, he offers to take me to Southeast Asia on a cultural tour. And I would be able to meet some potential people from some arts councils that will get me ahead in my dance career. Okay, no, not okay, like you're agreeing. <laughs> this, this young man could be kidnapped and killed on the side of the... Look, I watch a lot of Locked Up Abroad. I smell somebody who's gonna try to stick something in your luggage and you're gonna be in a Tibetan prison. Like, you just be careful. Don't leave the country. I met a man on the internet about nine months ago. We reconnected. We've been talking for five weeks. He asked me away for the weekend for my birthday, which is tomorrow. I canceled everything, and then he canceled on me. Oh. Where were you going to go? The Poconos. Okay. Going somewhere up in the woods? By yourself. With some, with, by yourself? With some man you met on the internet five weeks ago is nuts. He, I did know you... people who know him, though. Oh, you know I, people? I do know people who know him, so I know everything he says is cool. And be mm -hmm. glad. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and I don't care that your friends know him. I still wouldn't go in the woods with the killer. Okay? Okay. Okay. Got you. Good luck. Uh, I'm 35. I'm a teacher, and I'm single. And I can't find a decent man. And I'm totally against online dating because I don't want to be a killer. And so... <laughs> You've been watching this show too long. <laughs> Hide your kids, hide your wives, lock the doors, because the killer is on the loose. They um, ran through their, their cells and then through the tunnels and, and then up through a manhole in a nice neighborhood where our kids are riding bicycles and playing stickball. 
It's been 11 days since yeah. the two escaped. Get the killers. Get the killers, exactly. <laughs> The George Lopez one has this way, not just present day, but in the past of really, he's like a real panty dropper, girls. <laughs> well, if you squint and he puts on like a nice Tom Ford suit and... Well, that's cause you know he's a killer, but if you, I'm saying... If, <laughs> Reportedly, George and Tom were spotted about 40 miles outside of the prison area. So they're on the move. And I'm not asking you to fan out. <laughs> but, <laughs> Shout out to everybody 40 miles outside of the prison zone. <laughs> hide your kids, hide your wives, lock the door, and close the blinds. I'll tell you, this is why you've got to watch the ID channel like I do. <laughs> the, the ID channel, right? It preps you for everything. You watch the ID channel and you make sure you keep, keep hammers all over your house <laughs> because you never know when you're gonna have to either use the claw end on somebody or the hitting end on somebody, that's all. We have something for you. We hear that you needed some knives. Knives! <laughs> Thank you. God, now who am I gonna kill? <laughs> who am I gonna kill?